Hi. Thanks for inviting us in. Okay. This is a lot more homely and cozy than I expected for a grow house. Thank you. <laughs> Are more and more gangs using groppers to grow weed? More groppers than males. More groppers than men. Groppers don't get caught. Groppers don't go to prison. Less likely. So grannies are taking over the yeah. business? It's less likely for them to think a woman is a drug grower. Do you answer to anyone or are you the No, top? I don't answer to anybody at all. I just grow it, dry it, sell it on. So can we see your, your grow house? Yeah. It's quite warm. Oh wow, it's very hot. Yeah. Wow. There's some base. It smells very... Well, look at me. Very weedy. Yeah, let's grab it. Oh. I feel like we're crouching in the middle of a jungle right now. How many plants have you got here? There's about 16 in here at the minute. Yeah. So how many of these rooms do you have? Me, personally, right now, I think I've got about six. Six of them? Yeah. Okay, so you're running almost a small empire. Well... <laughs> you're being modest. If you like to call it that. And how strong is this? Is this skunk? This is skunk. You can get different levels from high-grade cheese, blue. There's, there's different names for it. Yeah. But, um, it sounds like you, quite, you enjoy it. I do, actually. Yeah. I know I do. <laughs> I do, and it's, 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 hel it's, it's helping me financially at, at the same time. And all you have to do is keep your electric bill down. Right, so how do you do that? Bring your electric where the, the meter itself can stop, or if you're next, next door to an empty house, bring it door to next door and cover, cover the room so that the light's not detected. How much is this all worth? Grand a piece. Quick turnover. So 16 grand? Yeah, every 12 weeks. Is this like your main source of income? Well, it is, because I mean, I'm on benefits. I'm on disability. So three kids with one dependent going to uni in September. So finances me, finances the kids, and it finances my immediate family. Oh, right. I need to come out of it because the fumes alone is just, woo! Yeah, it's really hot. I feel like Potent. I'm getting high just from the heat in here. So have you managed to basically bypass all of the criminal gangs? I don't have to worry about criminal gangs. I've got gang members in every corner of my family. OK. So I don't have to worry. They've got my back. OK, so it, it isn't just a, a completely innocent operation. You, you do have protection from people who are... I don't use know. them. I don't use them. Right. But I know they're there yeah. if I was to want to use them. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, right. You look sick. But turn your phone on silent because it's fucking identifiable fireball ringtone. Oh, no, I can't because it's fucking gross, bro. Are you using your tongue on the touch screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've literally never seen anyone use an iPhone with their tongue as a finger. How does it taste? So how do you get this machine? I used to uh, credit card information I got from dark web to buy it. So you frauded it, basically? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you where for. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. How do you think the dark web has changed the drug industry in the UK? Crazy. You can now purchase drugs like you can purchase a fucking microwave. But it's not coming through international gangs and syndicates through Holland? No, we're basically the competition. So what are the things that go into a pill? MDMA, yeah. microcrystalline cellulose. I use like a, whoa, shit. I use a premium mix. All right, well, can you show me how it works? Yeah, man. So that, yeah, this is, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't come out of a fucking laboratory. <laughs> People think it's clean and shit. And how much are you making in a batch usually? I know I stayed up one now. I did 1,600 in that before Glastonbury. You've had 5,000. Well, oh yeah, 5,000 over a week. A week it took. Let's just see. 
But so now we've got 11 grams in here in total, yeah, three grams of aluminium and then fucking eight grams of the binding agent, yeah. So just add a little bit of color to that. All right, so we get this, we stick this in here. Whoa, we try, generally try not to spill in here. We just crank them out, man. It's set all nice, isn't it? You've got Red McDonald's, so the, the stamp is a McDonald's. There you go. Oh, yeah. McDonald's. Pretty much it. And you go until you're done. Is it a little bit like uh, the craft beer revolution where everyone wants like homemade, small scale? Just like that. Yeah, people are getting more of what they want, I suppose. And I can put other things in them, do you know what I mean? If someone wants me to put ketamine in it or fucking cocaine, I can print Xanax, I can print Valium, I can print absolutely anything I wanted. If something comes from Holland, we can copy that. And like, oh, there's things like TMA um, and other like additives that they definitely put in their speed and stuff as well. Whereas I just put MDMA in my and that, and then the, then the colorant as well. Why don't you put PMA in? PMA, it's not MDMA, is it? It's not ecstasy, so I'm selling fucking ecstasy. Right. Yeah. And the people you sell to, do they care about knowing whether or not there's PMA in the pills? 100%. 100% they care about that. It's quite a doorbell. Matty, baby! Hey, what up, brother? Come on in, man. Wow. Welcome. Okay. You've got a lot of art here. Would you say psychedelics influence this art? Yeah, I'd hazard a guess. Yeah, I think I'd, it's pretty safe absolutely. to say. It's pretty yeah, safe yeah, to say, yeah. Do you trip a lot in this room? Generally, I like to be outside. Like my garden, you know, so you can okay. be looking at the, like, the trees and the sky okay. and stuff. It's through this way, bro. So I made this bad boy, I measured my, my cock to floor height, and I built it based on that. Right. And what? So why it's is functional. The... Little attachments and stuff, you know, just in case it gets freaky. Oh, man, no, no, no. No, my plant, bro. Oh, no. No, man, down, hang on, hang on. So you grow weed as well? Uh, well, not not especially. We're right in the beeline, actually. So look, oh, just, shit. Yeah, 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 just stand this way. Oh, you mean literally Yeah, yeah, literally. Line. So this is the right. beeline, yeah. So this is so, the way they go in and out of the hive. What's this shed? This looks amazing. Oh, it's a disco shed, mate. <laughs> what's going on here? Oh, mate, yeah. I made Captain Fish's Twerkometer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we made this cock, and it was on like a big, uh, yeah. a big uh, fucking circular thing. So yeah, yeah. and there was different levels of twerk. So are the shrooms in here? Oh no, mate, no, no, they're inside. It's this way, bro. Well, I'm losing my knickers. In here. <laughs> yeah, here we go, dude. And this is my fruiting chamber. Um, it's called a shotgun fruiting chamber because like the holes in it. So do you have any that are ready now? Mushrooms, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been drying them. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, these are some that I've been drying out. So are these ones you made earlier? This was the last flush. So I got three flushes out of this one. What have we got here? Ban Hun Thai. Uh, then there's Mexican Dutch Cat. Then there's Aussie Gold Cat. Uh, and then there's these Yotazuri. Uh, these were Japanese, but it looks like I've eaten all those. Those are my favorites. <laughs> when, <laughs> they didn't last long. And where do you get the spores for the shrooms? Uh, they're online. It's all perfectly legal. Put it together. Yeah. It's deemed illegal. And do you make them for selling or for personal use? Oh, no, absolutely. Just for myself, mate. Are you aware of what classification psilocybin is? Uh, yep. And does that worry you at all? Uh, it does to a degree. Um, I certainly wouldn't get, want to get in trouble in it, but uh, my personal opinion is that it's just something that grows out of the ground. It's a great trip, it's a great drug, mm. you know? I think it's safer than legal drugs like yeah. smoking. What we do step by step, how does it work when you're breaking into a hospital? When you're breaking into a hospital, we're not necessarily a hospital either. Anywhere that's got enough medical, 100% natural stock type. Yeah. This kind of shit makes you trip. It's a one lock thing, bro. All you need is a fucking crowbar, bolt cutters, balls. You got our bollocks. That's what it is. Fucking crack the thing and you got it. And there's usually trolleys in there. Trolleys that we can put the tanks onto. Take the bottles out, you're done. Depends if you're going to be greedy or not. If you're greedy, you get caught. Have you ever got caught? Well, I got caught. I've been fucked up by them fucking security guards a couple of times, bro. Then my hands, pop out of that boom. Went to the police station, no further action. 
no fucking proof on it, bro. What they got is a fucking CCTV. Is that it's not enough? It's not enough. They got no fingerprints, bro. Fingerprints on the tanks, bro. You ain't got nothing. So where are we going right now? I'm gonna show you, slot. Yeah, we'll be fucking diagnostics, fam. So you've you've taken canisters from this hospital in the past? No, not canisters. Big tanks. I'll take you there. Here. You see that blue door is here? There, bro. That's where it is, bro. It's there. There, bro. Um, you see these ones? All them ones there? These fucking tanks here, bro. You see all these blue ones here? Yeah? yeah. Each one of them ones there, 350 pounds. Wow. 350, 350, 350, 350, 350, 350. Then you see behind it, yeah? Yeah. I try cracking through the back of the walls, bro. Like smashing in the fucking bricks and that, bro. But it didn't yeah, work. Yeah. So obviously just went in for that thing. Fuck off. Fuck off. Hey, listen, boss. Boss, we're filming the interview. We don't allow it in the premises here. Yeah. What's wrong, boss? Why are you filming? It's, it's not allowed. Hey, boss, why are, you, why are we filming? Sure, listen. Oh. Okay. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Okay. I see you walk away. Okay. You're telling me some bullshit, fam. They can't. It's hard to do it now. Our hospital is starting to catch on to what you guys have been doing. Yes. Okay. 100%, mate. Every hospital in fucking London knows about it. Do you have to look for a new hospital now? Do I need to look for a new one? <laughs> I can tell you now, I've got a couple of hospitals I can do. I know the hospitals I can do without getting caught. This hospital that we just went to, I can show you what we got. We've got this thing here, the three footer, yeah? Okay. Three footer. This one here, we call it a pencil. A what? pencil. Why do you call it a pencil? Because it's a pencil. It looks like a pencil compared to what we usually get, the five footers, which are like this tool. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay, and how much this is this here? worth? How much can you well, make out of this? I'm making about six, seven hundred pounds off that. Wow. You know what I mean? And you got it for free because it's from a hospital. For free from a hospital, yeah. And it says it's but medical... Medical north. Of, no, just oxygen. Every time you do a lick, take that off. You, you get stopped by police, they see that, you're fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm juiced. You take the camera off me now. Are you going to leave Switch it? Switch off now. Please. Come on, man. So it's 7 a.m. and we're on the party bus to this hardcore festival. And as soon as we got on the bus, they started playing hardcore very loud and everyone started doing very large amounts of drugs. And meanwhile, the whole time, these two guys are pipetting out doses of GHB for the bus ride and it's still not even 9 a.m. On the bus stop, some people ask me to make these, so just making them on custom order. The guys took a break from their mobile drug laboratory to sell capsules of G to people at the petrol station. They then took their first dose and for some reason set an alarm. So we've just arrived at the festival after a f grueling four-hour <laughs> bus ride. And I noticed you putting an alarm on your phone. Yeah. What was that for? Um, I do that because otherwise I would take a shot earlier than it should be. Basically keep yourself from overdosing. That's yeah. the big point of it. The combination of speed, cocaine, G, alcohol, and 200 BPM music might seem like a recipe for disaster. But for the veteran drug users of Holland's hardcore scene, G has simply become another drug on the narcotic menu that makes violently punching the air more enjoyable. 